how to make this dress this button down dress so guys the first thing you're going to do is to determine the length you want the dress to be so i want mine to be 44. my shoulder to waist is 17. if i subtract this from this i'm going to be left with um 27 right 27. so now what i'm going to do 27 is going to be the length of my skirt calculate my waist measurement so the waist i'm working with is 36. The, the next thing I'm going to do is this 36, I'm going to divide it by a constant to cut the circle part because remember the bottom, we are starting with the bottom and the bottom of the skirt is a circle. So this 36 divided by, you're going to use it for anybody, like this is my waist measurement. So whatever the waist is that you're working with for this dress, just divide it by 3.14, divided by 3.14. It doesn't matter who it is, right? So let me, 36 divided by 3.14 that will give me 11 points let's say 11.5 right so now the next thing i have to do is to add this to this so add this one here to this one so plus so i'm going to add this 11.5 plus 27 right so that is about 38.5 I'm going to add one inch of folding the end of the circle and half an inch for the for joining the waist part to the shoulder part, like to the upper part of the bodice. So that is plus one point five. So plus one point five. So that will leave me with forty on the dot, right? So that means forty inches is what I need as my folded fabric. So I'm going to make sure that this this fold here, I have forty inches on this side, and then I also have forty inches on this other end. You see so that is how you're going to calculate the measurement that you need for the fold of your fabric hope that makes sense so now let's get into cutting it so um as i folded my fabric now i made sure that i have 40 inches here and 40 inches on this side so guys after that the next thing i'm going to do now is to fold this fabric into two like this this will help me cut it better in the view of the camera right just basically i'm folding it so that you guys can see everything i'm doing you can still leave it open and just cut from there right but i want to fold it so that i can be able to insert all the measurements i need so that you guys can see so now the first thing i'm going to do is from this point here this top part here i'm going to just go ahead and add 30, this is my waist measurement divided by 3.14 i got 11.5 i'm going to go from this point here and mark 11.5 all the way around like 11.5 11.5 11.5 just like that so guys you see what i did here so first i placed my tape and then i marked the first measurement that we had here which was my waist divided by 3.14 so whatever the waist is divided by 3.14 i marked it all the way around here the next after that the next measurement i have here is from this point here is that the length of my skirt which is going to be 27 plus 1.5 that's why i have 28.5 from this point down so you see it's marked 28.5 but in total remember when we added everything together 38.5 plus 1.5 and then everything came down to be 40 so you see 40 inches all the way around this is the second line here so i'm going to go ahead and cut this out now this is our skirt part i know you're wondering so how are we going to add the button and the placket thing guys just follow follow it this way let's cut the skirt part first and then we'll cut the top and then we'll come back and figure out the bottom part you see we have this part cut out this part cut out so now we have the skirt let me open it up so that you see you see our skirt is ready here this part here is going to be the center front this part here is going to be the center front if i open it up you see let me show you so you see the center back the center front this is what it will look like so now you see just like this all this part here these two parts here will be coming towards this towards the center front like this you see 
it's going to come towards the center like this with the bottom placket added to it you see so now let's go ahead and cut the top it's for the upper bodies now you see what i have here this fabric here so for my shoulder to my waist but i already marked half an inch at the top so the next line i'm going to have here is my chest line which is going to be at 10 inches and then i'm going to have my under bust line and then my waist line so guys i've marked my line so first i have half an inch here to begin with which is going to be my joining the seam allowance to join the shoulder because remember i decided to use a bust here for this like princess that but guys you can use ordinary that if you don't feel like yeah, i know this can be a little bit like difficult sometimes but use the easiest way just do normal that like just the small bust that here it will still work but it's just that it might get by the armhole because it's sleeveless all you have to do is just give it a small that there but i want it to fit perfectly that's why i'm going with this particular one so the lines i have here i um just my armhole half an inch first to start with then my armhole my under bust and then my waist so the next thing i'm going to do is since it's sleeveless my shoulder divided by two minus half and minus one the, my shoulder divided by two is eight minus one is seven right after that the next thing i'm going to have here is my seven inches down here and then i'm going to connect the two together from this point to this point here right and then the next thing i'm going to do is to come down one inch of shoulder slope here mark my neck three inches connect the shoulder slope together just like basic princess that is what you're supposed to do here and then after that i'm going to come here now and then i'm going to mark so let me extend this line also on this particular chest line i'm going to mark my nipple to nipple divided by two plus half an inch which is going to give me 4.5 on this line i'm going to remove the half an inch and just mark the four that's my nipple to nipple divided by to do the same on this other line so all i have to do now is just to connect it together so i'm going to connect from here to this point here and then to this this one straight down then the next thing i'm going to do is to insert my armhole my bust divided by four so whatever the bust you're working with is mark it here so i'm working with bust of 42 almost 43 so i've marked that here the next thing you're going to do is on this line here halfway through this line you're going to go ahead and mark it so that is going to be 4.5 for me that's from this point to this point after that i'm going to give it come in here with half an inch give it a curve like this give it a curve another curve going towards this direction here after that now i'm going to find on this my curve line now i'm going to find halfway through this particular one now which is at 12 so half of it is going to be at six which is somewhere here i'm going to mark from this point now i'm going to connect it to this point right and then once it's done all i have to do now is just to go ahead and insert my dart so down here i'm going to do two inches right i'm going to do two inches here and then two inches here if you're more on the smaller side you can do 1.5 right but i'm going to do two inches because i want the cup to be more i'm going to then come down on this line by one inch and then give it a curve like this right and then once it's done come here mark one inch above this line one inch below this line connect the two of them to this point here right and once it's done the lower that the lower leg of my dart i'm going to extend it by at least 1.5 or or the same whatever you took away from here if you're on the smaller part i would say do zero points share um 1.5 between these two sides if you're on the bigger side it will be better you do one inch one inch here this will help give you that dart by the boss that's why i decided to do this here just so i can get that dart and like the fitting so now that is done you see you're going to extend the leg of this that's here the lower one and then i'm going to go back in here whatever you the that you marked here add it here so i did two inches so i'm going to add two inches here and then two inches of seam allowance on the waist i'm going to do waist divided by four so let's say it's nine bring back this my two inches or 1.5 whichever one you used and then two inches of seam allowance now all i have to do is just to connect the two right and guys everything is done so we are, now we are going to i just had to do this here to show you guys but 
you can skip all this one here and just go straight to using your normal basic um, that so once it's done don't worry about the bottom we still go back to that i'm going to come down here by three inches for my neckline for the front neckline right and then for this armhole i'm also going to mark half an inch at the top here for this sewing allowance here because if, if, if I take away the sewing allowance from the body of this, that was the initial plan when we did this one inch here. Because if I didn't add this extra half an inch here, sorry, at the top before we started inserting the measurements, which process that once you take away that here, it's going to pull this up, right? So my underboss will no longer be my underboss anymore. It's going to go up by half an inch because I took away half an inch here. That's why it's always better when you're doing presets that add all the seam allowances you need so that you're nipple line is your nipple line your under bust is your under bust your waist is your waist so you will not tamper with all these things leg of the dart here you're just going to bring it down into this line and that is it so i'm cutting it now so guys i've cut everything out already you see so the next thing i have to do now is just to split it open here this is going to be for my um the plaque when i'm going to add the placket for the bottom so i'm just going to cut this open by the center front here and then set it aside you see so but in the meantime you will notice that this is my front panel and i already have two pieces in front here and then one piece of this is going to go on this side one of this is going to go on this other side so you're going to take it, this the way it is now and sew it like this all the way just like this and then you have this side here your shoulder to where you want it to be like i said before my shoulder to waist is at 17 right so yeah at 17 that was what i said so i'm going to go ahead and mark first of all the half an inch for the upper part to um join the shoulder together just like we did in front the seam allowance to join the shoulder because remember you can't just join you can't just sew this one directly to the end and then this one has seam allowance it's going to make the armhole here go higher so you, if you're going to have seam allowance at the top here you're supposed to also do the same thing in front here so now the next thing i'm going to do is the same shoulder um, measurement divided by two minus um one so that is going to be seven i'm going to go ahead and mark my armhole at 10 again right and then i'm going to mark one inch of shoulder slope here and then I'm going to go ahead and mark again three inch uh, for the neck width. And then I'm going to connect it. And then I'm going to mark one inch of neck depth. And then I'm going to also mark the same half an inch at the upper part here, just like this. And then after that, I'm going to bring down that seven inches here. And then I'm going to connect it all the way to the top like this. And then I'm going to mark it. Remember, this is the back panel. There's no zipper at the back. It's just straight, right? So after that, the next thing you're going to do is to mark your bust divided by four, whatever it is, right? Mark it. And then add your seam allowance. The back, I'm going to do like 1.5 inch for the seam allowance or one inch for the seam allowance. The reason I have two for the front is because I need it to be able to join the center parts. You, you understand those, um, the seams by the center, but this one doesn't have any seam here. So it doesn't matter. And then for the back length, you're going to measure where you want the back to stop. That's why I'm going to just mark it at, um, one inch above what my waist should have been. You understand? So one inch from what's my waist in my waist is shoulder to waist in front is at 17.5. Then I'm going to mark it at 16.5. Half an inch of this is going to be with the bias and then um, that means I'm going to be left with 16 when I'm done. If that makes sense. But if you, it, 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 it's left to you what you want to reduce. If you want, you can do more than one inch. You can do 1.5. But I'm okay. I'm, I'm just okay with the one inch. So, right. So I'm going to just cut it off at 16.5 then. Which means I'm removing one inch from it. You understand and then after that i'm going to go ahead and mark my waist divided by four so whatever it is and then i'm going to add two inches one inch of the basic that that we normally have right and then 1.5 guys you will not do your exact waist measurement it depends on you because you're going on your waist like let's say my waist is here 
the higher I'm going from my waist up, that means my, my measurement is supposed to increase. Remember, because let's say now I mark my waist measurement here, this point here, right? And then I added two inches here. When I go to connect it to this angle of my, my, my bust, remember your waist narrows coming in like this. So the measurement here to here might be a difference of 0 0.25. That's what I'm trying to explain. So you might want to mark it on your actual waistline and then cut off the main thing. So that way you will know where your waist is, is supposed to be. So now I'm just going to go ahead and cut on this point. Cut here and then just like that. So guys, now um, the next thing I'm going to do, you see I've cut out everything, is to mark where my dart is supposed to be. So my dart is going to be somewhere here. Nipple to nipple divided by two plus half an inch. I'm going to mark it here. And then I'm going to take it all the way up to this point here. So let me go ahead and notch it at this point here. So this is where my dart is going to be. Remember, your back dart is supposed to stop at your um, chest line. So I'm going to take away, just it's going to be a straight dart, half an inch on this side, half an inch on this side, going all the way to the top. So guys, this is my top here. Um, I think I lost the clip, but I'm going to explain what we're going to do now. So guys, this is it here. You see the front panel, the two pieces of the front. I've joined this here, joined this here. And then I'm going to fold it this way so that we can be able to cut it better. So now the next thing I'm going to talk about now is how we are going to be reducing this thing so that it will look the same. But before that, you will notice that when you finish joining this, um, this, this front panel together, and then if you measure it with your front, your back armhole, you will notice that the armhole in front is almost as if it's higher. It's because of this dart that we put here. You know, this dart here is pulling half an inch of this side and half an inch of this side. So if you notice, you see that your armhole in front might be closed up a little and have some excess fabric by the ammo that's if you use princess dart for it it might be a little bit higher than the back ammo just go ahead and trim it off using this back panel as your measurement right just go ahead and chip off that little fabric so that it will be exactly the same as the back ammo once you've done that you see i've done mine and it looks exactly the same as my um ammo in at the back now so let me open it back up again so you see the next thing i'm going to measure here is for my shoulder in front to the back and then i'm going to determine how much of it i want to cut off so from the tip of this part here down to the waist here i have about 17.5 my waist is at 17 i have 17.5 here and then for the back is left to you what you want to cut off so for the back i have about 17 here so um my uh i'm going to go ahead and cut it off at 16 so I'm going to, because my shoulder to my under bust is at 15.5 almost. So I think I'm going to do like 16 here. Because whatever I cut off here, I'm still going to bring it up towards the front, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do about 16 inches at the back. So that I can still use half an inch of this front panel to, to use bias to turn it over. So the half an inch there, let me say it again. So my shoulder to waist at the back. What I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce it to one inch, right? So I'm going to cut off like at 16 inches mark. So that when I go back in, I use half an inch to um, run the bias. I'm going to be left with 15.5. That is what I'm trying to say. So now let me go ahead and mark a straight line across on that 16 inches line. You see on this point here. And another thing you can do is the same way you've marked it now. You like before you even mark it, if you want, you can turn it over to the front panel like this. So you see, this is my front, this is my back. You can just place everything together like this before you start to cut. You see? So I've already cut it off in front where I want it to be. You see the line here, but I'm still going to bring it in even more. You see where I marked it um, at the back, this line here. And if you see, I've already cut it out in front. So what I'm going to do is, because I feel like this is too much, I still have to close it up a little bit more. So I'm going to extend this even more, bring it towards this line, this seam that I have here. So I'm going to bring it closer to this point. So now I'm going to be cutting off everything from here. So guys, one thing you're going to make sure is that when you're cutting it, the back panel, the sides are the same. Like if 
at this point where I cut off the back is going to be the same side where I cut off the front. You understand? The length of this side for both the front and the back are supposed to be the same. So wherever you want to stop in front is your choice. You can make yours even wider if you don't feel comfortable with that much skin showing, which I feel like I'm going to, I don't think I'm going to cut this off like that because I don't, I don't think I'll be comfortable with this much skin. This, just this side alone is okay for me. So let me go ahead now and cut this bit off from the back, right? And maybe trim off just a little bit more from the front because I just know that I'm still going to take away one inch of side seam allowance here. So that means much of my skin will not be showing in front. So I can still go back in like at least one more inch in front. You understand? So like this, maybe one more inch. I'm not going to go all the way to where my nipple to nipple line is. I'm just going to go in one more inch so that when I take away the one inch of seam allowance, like four inches in front of my skin will be showing like in, in uh, from the front panel. But the back, everything like this, this way is showing. So let me go ahead and cut off the back. So guys, you see? the side my armhole everything is the same coming towards the front you see i've cut it off now so now what i'm going to do is to go back in now i'm going to open it up and then i'm going to take my bias tape and run it this armhole and then this other armhole so guys this is what we have right now you see i first added bias to the bottom part here added separately on the front this side also and then I just close the top on this side. You see, there's a bias coming from this side and there's one coming from this other side, you see. Before I now closed up my seam, the same on this other side too. And that was after I've already um, put the bias on the armhole too. So now the next thing I have to do is that we're going to now deal with how we're going to join this to the bottom part here. So guys, there are two ways you can join this here. You can decide to do it without um, the band and just use bias to run the waistline and that is it or you can also decide to add a band to it initially my plan was to add just add it directly and no and no band just use bias to run the waist also but i don't know how it will look right now and i didn't put into consideration the band so now i'm going to try to add the band still although i know adding this band because my band is going to be one inch length right so i think it's going to make my dress like 45 instead of 44 it's going to add one inch to the length of my dress but that's okay if, if anything i can always reduce the dress length but how you're going to do it is that you see the this here 